Hello, my name is Scott Hatfield and this is my way of telling my students about a very important assignment to end this semester. Students are going to be asked to do a project called Evolution, Creation, and all that jazz. In this project, students will be expected to write multiple drafts of a guided essay. They will choose one of four topics and write a position paper on that, a minimum of 1,000 words. The first draft will be worth 100 points, the second draft will be worth 200, and the final draft will be worth 300 points. However, the percentage grade earned on the final draft will be applied to the previous drafts, thus this is effectively a 600 point project. It has certain requirements. The first is that the paper must be properly formatted. Papers should be word processed in either Word or WordPerfect software, single spaced in a standard font, 10 or 12 points in size. Standard fonts would include such fonts as Courier, Times, Arial, or Helvetica. If students wish to use a word processor other than Word or WordPerfect, or if they wish to use a non-standard font, they must seek permission from the instructor. Students will be expected to have sources and an APA style bibliography that shows the sources and they will also be expected to have uh, citations within the body of the text that are done APA style. Students have previously been taught how to do this and further instruction on these items, the bibliography and the citations will be provided as needed. Five citations at a minimum will be required from four different sources one of which must be a scientific source other than the internet, a book or a magazine. And of course, since the internet does not usually consist of primary sources, it will be important that students get internet sources approved. For that reason, hard copies will typically have a printout of part of the internet source attached. Now the content, you'll be choosing from the topics which are given. Uh, you'll be using the descriptions of those topics to generate your paper. You can think of the every sentence in the topic description as being like a point that you are expected to address. Now, it's important to understand that you get to choose the topic, students, and it is not necessary that you actually either agree or disagree with any of the positions that you take in your paper. This is an intellectual exercise, and uh, one fascinating and very helpful uh, skill is when students practice the skill of arguing for a position which they may or may not necessarily agree with. This is actually a very good skill for higher level work, as in college. In any case, because you're expected to present arguments pro and con a given item, you must be prepared to justify your positions with evidence and arguments rather than opinions. For a paper such as this, which requires you to do original work, academic integrity is key. Therefore, each draft of your paper, you will submit an electronic copy to my personal email, epigene13 at hotmail.com. But each time you submit a new draft, you must also provide a hard copy. And it would be the hard copy which you would attach any photocopies or printouts of any and all sources that you might be referring to. Now, the key to good writing is rewriting. That's why in this assignment, I'm expecting students to do multiple drafts you will typically be asked to rewrite. And when you're asked to rewrite, I will be giving you feedback, which is designed to help you improve your performance. This is to your advantage, because we want every student to earn an A on this assignment by satisfying the requirements. This is no different from scientists who are typically asked to rewrite uh, submissions to scientific journals or other publications multiple times before they are actually published. Now there are four topics, and again, it is the student's choice. Two of them are relatively easy. One's called Evidence for Evolution of Species, and the other's called Evidence for Creation of Species. As you might expect, they are comparable. In each case, you'll be expected to identify some of the evidence for common descent, which is a factor of evolution. And you'll be expected to distinguish between evolution, natural selection, and speciation. They are separate concepts. And you'll be expected to Provide arguments both for and against a particular position to show that you can understand and, per, and are familiar with uh, the points of view that may be opposed to one another. So those are the first two topics. They're relatively easy. Topic three is somewhat harder. It's called the evolution of evolution. And it's about how evolutionary theory has changed since the time of Charles Darwin. 
The most challenging topic and the one that students who are interested in getting the highest possible grade, who are the most ambitious should consider, is issues of tempo and mode and evolution. And this has to do with the fact that uh, there are honest disagreements within the field as to how evolution happens, uh, what causes it to happen in cases, how fast it happens, and so forth. Uh, very fascinating topics. So choose one of these four topics and write an essay, a draft, prepare to have it criticized heavily, and then take the criticisms to heart using it to refine your work so that your subsequent drafts will have more of the items that you need. After your first draft, uh, you will receive a rubric checklist to help you in uh, improving your draft and you'll be able to follow that as you go along. Now this does not of course address every possible question that students might have about this assignment so it is very important uh, for your success that uh, if there are questions that it does not answer that you take the time to write them down and formulate them and discuss them with your instructor. Once again, this is a great opportunity, students, a 600-point assignment to end the year. Most students who take advantage of this and work hard will succeed in raising their grade, and it can make a big out difference in the outcome for uh, you know, your final grade in this course. Thanks for your attention, and I look forward to reading your original work in the drafts you'll be providing me.